have a project, maybe many projects for you. Jennifer Nicolella from Abby's Attic is here to show us some of the uh, fun family crafts. And not only is this a good you know, family bonding time, but there's a reason behind this, very yes, serious reason. Very serious reason. So we're finding that little kids are losing the ability to pinch. Um, because uh, they are using too much technology, they're not manipulating small things. Doing this too much with uh, and too much that's that. exactly yes. right. And so that muscle, building that muscle is a precursor for being able to write. So we have to make sure that they build those muscles. So the crafts that we've chosen today all incorporate those fine motor skills and those kind of pinchy motions. And different age groups, right? And different age groups, mm -hmm. that's right. So this so is for little ones. This is for ages about two to five. It'll vary, of course, with the you know child's dexterity. But all we want them to do is go in and out through the plastic canvas with a needle. It's a blunt needle, a mm -hmm. little bit of skinny yarn. Um, and they, you'll see he's pinching, right? And he's also pinching the, the plastic canvas. So those motions help the kids build those muscles. And you don't want to help them, right? You, you, you tell don't your want teachers, to help them. let them do it. That's right. So there's two things that we want to remember when our kiddos are doing this. One, let them struggle. The struggle is what teaches them how to, you know, make mistakes and learn from mistakes and, and build those muscles and build those, those skills. You fall down next time you won't. That's exactly okay. right. And the second thing is, um, if we parents do it for them, then all we teach them is that we can do it better than them. So that's we want to make sure that we let them struggle, let them do it, let them try. Mm -hmm. So that's a good one for ages two to five. Mm -hmm. And then for about ages five to eight, again, depending on the child's dexterity, we're going to do the same kind of motion, but this time we're going to put, it, uh, put some burlap, which is a very loose weave, into an embroidery hoop. And so we'll have you guys open the hoop. So you're using your pinchy fingers so again. There's another, that little tiny little Righty tighty, right lefty loosey, yep. And we're going to um, put this one on the table. This one's good. Uh -huh. And then cover it with that and then on top. Yep. Okay. And so as you're seeing them work, they are using those itty bitty finger muscles, right? We want the kids to build those muscles. Mm -hmm. And then you tighten the screw. Okay. 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 And then um, as you hold the project, you're also using those, um, those small muscles. So with a needle and thread, you can um, sew buttons, you can sew little felt flowers. And kids love this. Um, they choose colors and combinations that we adults probably wouldn't, you know, Ugh. why, why mm -hmm. did those don't go together? But when it's done, the kid has made it and there's pride in the work that they've done mm -hmm. and they enjoy the process. And, and it's just this fun. is going to be a gift for grandma oh. or grandpa or someone. Absolutely. One of a kind gift. Yeah, that yeah. They yeah. That'll yeah. 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 Just fix you up here. There we go. Okay. Sure. Yeah, of course. So Jen is just going to put the final touches on the kid mm -hmm. version of this apron. But there she goes. She's using her small motor skills to mm -hmm. take out that pen. And my cute little ring. <laughs> and putting it in the pen cushion. Good. Got it. <laughs> and how old do kids are they when they start using a sewing machine like that? We start them at about seven and a half and eight. Okay. So really? it's yes. Wow. It's it, they have a very healthy respect for these machines. They know their power tools. We give them the spiel before class and let them know if you're not paying attention, you could maybe get hurt. But and you know you were talking about letting the kids just do this, don't do it for them. And even as far as the sewing machine is concerned, right? Yes. We want when they're in our class, we want them to thread the needle. We want them to pin their work. We want them to monitor the speed. We want them to do it all.